subscribe to our channel, and help us to spread the word. Catholic Meditation January 19, 2024 The Greatness of the Ordinary Sixteen Elbow to Elbow Might think that my life is not important, that I won't make it into the annals of history, that my name will fade away with the passage of time. Might think that what I do is trivial, futile, inconsequential, too small or monotonous. Maybe. But there is someone who completely disagrees with my way of thinking and seeing things. Someone lived for 30 years in a small village in a small country. He earned a living with the work of his hands, and his small workshop had no grand aspirations. Nevertheless, this someone has come to call me and invite me into his workshop to place my work, my efforts, my small daily tasks, in his hands. And thus, may everything be blessed with his gift of love. You, craftsman of Nazareth, call me to place my work next to yours, to learn that the greatness of my life is not measured by human standards, but by divine. That day, Lord, you called a group of fishermen, a tax collector, and simple people to your workshop to help you build the boat of your church. Ordinary people, without power, without influence, but by working elbow to elbow with you, they became great in the eyes of God. St. Mark writes, In those days, Jesus went up on the mountain and called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, so that they might be with him, and he might send them out to preach and have authority to cast out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James the son of Zebedee and John the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Bonerges, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, Dezemes the son of Alphaeus the Deus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed their names are written in the heart of the rabbi of Nazareth, Jesus. You call me. My life is precious in your divine eyes. Master, you desire that I be with you, that I share my day-to-day -day life, my efforts, my joys, and concerns with you. Jesus, my desire is that I also make your desires, your plans, everything that is in your heart of love, my own. Mary, lead me to the workshop of your son and teach me. Mother, the value of my life, a life that I must share elbow to elbow with that of Jesus, your beloved Son. And now, after this brief guided meditation, we will continue with a theological commentary on the passage MK 313-19. The passage from Mark presents a crucial moment in the ministry of Jesus, where he selects his twelve apostles. This episode emphasizes the importance of divine choice and establishes the foundation for the formation of the apostolic community. Firstly, it is significant that Jesus goes up the mountain before choosing the twelve. Mountains in the Bible often symbolize places of encounter with the divine and revelation. This act of ascending the mountain suggests the importance and transcendence of the choice he is about to make. By choosing twelve apostles, Jesus establishes a symbolic connection with the twelve tribes of Israel indicating that his mission encompasses the entire people of God. The fact that Jesus calls his disciples to be with him and to send them out to preach highlights the dual dimension of the apostolic vocation. First, intimacy and communion with Jesus are fundamental. A close relationship with the Master is essential to understand and live out the message they will proclaim. Secondly, the apostolic vocation has a missionary dimension. The apostles are called not only to personally benefit from the company of Jesus, but also to be sent as messengers of the good news. The selection of twelve apostles also has ecclesiological implications. The apostles are not chosen randomly. Their number and selection are part of the divine design to establish the new community of believers. This act of choice represents the foundation of the church, which will continue Jesus' mission on earth. It is essential to highlight that among the twelve apostles Jesus chooses ordinary people with their own limitations and flaws. Underscores the idea that the effectiveness of the mission does not depend on the natural abilities of the apostles, but on divine grace and calling. The choice of imperfect individuals also resonates with the human experience, 
showing that we are all susceptible to God's mercy and can be instruments in His hand. In summary, the passage from Mark provides a profound insight into Jesus' selection of the apostles. This event is more than a mere designation. It is an act loaded with symbolism, revelation, and divine purpose. Moreover, it lays the foundations of the apostolic community and imparts valuable lessons about vocation, mission, and divine grace.